Talented, pretty and petite are words which resonate with Donna. The actress got her major break as Nana Ajwa in YOLO. Can I get a hug so I can smell just like you? Hey, I won't mind you. I won't mind you. Ah, ah what is wrong? Hmm? Charles who said Drogba, whatever your name is. Please leave me alone. I don't want to lose my job. And dazzled audiences with her performance. She holds an MA in dance from the School of Performing Arts, Legon. Hi guys, I'm Donna Amwa and all of you know me as Nanaja from YOLO. And today I'm here to answer all of your questions on 50 questions with the PAVE Network. So let's dive in. This is 50 questions on the PAVE Network. A show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the PAVE Studios for the guest of the day. Okay, so the first question I have here is, what defines you? Hmm. I think what defines me is what I stand for, the values that I stand for. And I'll share a few of those values with you guys. So I believe in honesty and consistency. I mean, if if you're an honest person and you're consistent with whatever you do, it helps you to get to a positive destination. So yeah. And the second question I have here, the second question I have here is, do you think the proliferation of churches is a sign of religious growth? Wow, proliferation. Okay, so, First of all, I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person and I don't think having so many churches define, defines um, religious growth for those who believe in religion. I don't, I don't think so, though I'm not a religious person, I don't think so. And the third question I have here is, how did you get featured on the YOLO TV series? Okay, there was an audition and then I took my shots and I went and I got in. And the next question is, what was your favorite YOLO scene? I don't quite remember because it was five years ago, but I think the scene where I was standing in front of the shop in um, King George and Drogba were talking about Drogba leaving some panty in some girl's room or something like that. Like, and he was like, El Mao. <laughs> that scene was very funny. And it's my favorite. Okay, so someone is asking if I'm an introvert. Um, I'm sometimes an introvert. And I'm mostly an extrovert, so yeah. Okay, so. Have you stopped acting? I haven't stopped acting. Matter of fact, I have a new series coming up. The title is Inside Life. So you guys should just head on to the Instagram page of the series and check it out, Inside Life, the series. You don't want to miss it, it's, it's actually interesting. Okay, and the next question is, which high school did you attend? I attended Archbishop Porter Girls, and like we all say, we are ladies of substance. <laughs> okay, next question. Are you working now aside acting? Um, so for those of you who know that I have a background in dance, I'm currently working with a dance company um, at East Legon in Accra. So I'm working there and then I'm also still in school. Okay, so the next question is, um, how old are you? Seriously guys, how old do you think I am? Okay, I'm gonna give you a range, I won't say my age. Um, between, 20 and 28. So you guess how old you think I am. Okay, next question is, what's your two favorite series of all time? Hmm, I think that would be Greenleaf 
on Netflix and and definitely YOLO because I didn't really recall things we do for love but after taking part in YOLO and watching it after it was aired, yo, the series is, is mad, it's nice. Those of you who haven't watched it, go and watch it. Okay, next question. Why am I so pretty? Go ask my mama. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, that was just by the way. <laughs> next question is, are you still interested in acting YOLO if they should call you? Um, definitely, I am. If I'm called, why not? Okay. Next question is, what is your religious life like? Like I said earlier, I'm not a religious person. So I don't really have a structure as to how my religious life is, no. I just believe in God and it works for me so that's it okay and the next question is what is your biggest fear in life hmm my biggest fear in life is to not be happy i say this because i think that happiness is is the basis of everything you can want to achieve a lot of things have dreams ambitions goals but at the end of the day if you are not happy then what did you gain um next question is what is your level of education tertiary proudly <laughs> next question is where do you study the idea of making an app for real, when I saw this question, I was quite amazed because I just did an ad for someone. I am not a software developer. I don't know anything about apps. I just promoted someone, that's all. Um, which tertiary school did you attend? Okay, I am still in tertiary, but then I attended um, University of Ghana, Legon as my undergraduate and I'm enrolled in a graduate program now. Why did you stop YOLO? I didn't stop YOLO, guys. I've had so many of you asking me this question. I did not stop YOLO. If you really know how acting is and how um, script writing is, characters die, characters have an end. So my role just ended and that was just about it. Okay, another question here is, who was your crush in YOLO? I've also had so many questions about this. If you guys mean my crush in YOLO like in the movie, then that would be King George. But let me just say this here. I've still been crushing on King George in real life. <laughs> okay, and the next question is, are you still part of YOLO? Okay, I am not still part of YOLO because I've already said that my role ended. So that was just about it. Okay, so the last question I have here is, what are the names of the first midwives in the Bible? I have no idea. <laughs> so yes, I had fun answering your questions and please do subscribe to the PAVE Network. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification to get notified anytime there's an upload. And then follow PAVE Ghana on all social media platforms. Bye guys.